Dodge unveiled what it calls, the future of electrified muscle. The Charger Daytona SRT is an electric performance coupe meant to carry the torch carried on by the outgoing Charger and Challenger. The Daytona SRT will have an 800-volt electrical architecture called the Banshee. Powertrain specifications weren't available, but Dodge claims it will be quicker than the Hellcat. Other features meant to enhance the muscle car experience included a multi-speed transmission, a temporary horsepower boost switch, and an exhaust system meant to make the Daytona SRT as loud as a Hellcat. It looks like the days of proud American muscle cars with their powerful V8 engines and snarling exhausts are about to pass gracefully. Dodge's Charger and Challenger models will be making their final bow after 2023, and electric models are making their way to nameplate classics like the Chevy Camaro and Ford Mustang as well. Dodge doesn't want to mourn the muscle car just yet. The new Dodge Charger Daytona SRT concept is an all-electric performance coupe designed to carry Dodge's heritage forward and become the future of electrified muscle. The heart of the Daytona SRT is its 800-volt electrical architecture, which is named the Banshee. This doubles the 400-volt architectural voltage used by many other electric vehicles and allows for faster charging, better cooling for the electric motors, and lighter wiring. The Porsche Taycan, Audi e-tron GT, Hyundai Ioniq 5, and Kia EV6 also use the 800-volt architecture. While Dodge hasn't shared any performance or powertrain details for the concept, it does claim the Daytona SRT will be faster than its Hellcat V8-powered cousin, on all major performance measures. This means acceleration and top speed. For reference, the 2023 Charger SRT Hellcat Redeye with the jailbreak package has an astounding 807 horsepower, and the Redeye tested accelerated to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. A push-to-pass button called PowerShot will provide a temporary power boost. Unlike its ice-powered, rear-wheel drive predecessor, the Daytona SRT is all-wheel drive, which was demonstrated in true Dodge fashion with four-wheel fatigue from a teaser video posted in July last year. It will also get six piston brakes, and regenerative braking will also be included. To give drivers the feeling of a different shift point, Dodge has gifted the Daytona SRT with a multi-speed transmission. Not many details are available beyond that, but a look at concept images for the interior tells us it's likely automatic. Nor is the Daytona SRT the first electric car to ditch the traditional direct drive system. The Taycan and e-tron GT both use two-speed automatic gearboxes. While we can't say for sure, it looks like the Daytona SRT will use a two-speed transmission for increased acceleration and efficiency. However, the most unique aspect of the Daytona SRT and the most gratuitous is the exhaust. Dodge hasn't yet come up with a way for electric cars to pump equal parts engine noise and CO2 into the air, but it did design the Fratsonic chambered exhaust to amplify the near-silent hum of electric motors to a decent 126 decibel cacophony. SRT Badge The name, Fratzonic, is a variation of Fratson, the moniker given to the logo featured on Dodge muscle cars in the 60s and 70s. The logo makes a comeback on the Daytona SRT, one of the many ways Dodge has tried to infuse the concept with the brand's history. Inspired by the high wing of the original 1969 Daytona Charger, the first NASCAR vehicle to reach 200 miles per hour, the Daytona SRT had a front opening called the R-Wing. The R-Wing is intended to provide better aerodynamics and increased downforce, aided by four intakes at the front and rear of the car. The rest of the exterior, evocative of the original Charger's shapely silhouette, is built on sleek lines and an athletic demeanor, though the Daytona SRT's front and rear lights and overall profile are clearly still evolutions of the current Charger and Challenger. Apart from the obvious emphasis on performance and muscle, the Daytona SRT also aims to be more practical. The interior mock-up looks sleek and modern, and the hatchback design with the rear seats folding flat should provide ample cargo space. Paddle shifters on either side of the square steering wheel control the power shot feature and select from one of the Daytona SRT's drive modes. The Daytona SRT is an ambitious concept, but whether it can fulfill all the missions it claims to fulfill remains to be seen. 
A production version of the car could arrive as early as 2024, and only then will we know whether electric cars can also become muscle cars. We'll